Hello. In this video, we are going to derive the Stefan Boltzmann relationship from the Planck distribution. The Stefan Boltzmann law can be written as E equals a t to the fourth power, where E is the emissivity, it's the energy output of a black body, a is a constant, t is a thermodynamic temperature. The important thing is that the energy output depends upon the fourth power of the temperature. A is defined to be 4 times sigma divided by C. In this derivation, we will determine the values of A and sigma from the Planck distribution. We recall the Planck distribution. DE is equal to 8 pi HC over lambda to the fifth power times d lambda over e to the hc divided by lambda kt, all minus 1. To solve for the Stefan Boltzmann law, we are going to take each side of this relationship and integrate lambda from 0 to infinity. Essentially, we're integrating over all possible wavelengths. So this gives us that e, the total emissivity, is the integral from 0 to infinity of this expression here. We're going to need to make a substitution, so let's let 1 over x equal hc divided by lambda kt. Essentially, we're converting this complicated exponent into 1 over x. We can solve for x, and we get that x is equal to lambda kt over hc. Another necessary relationship to derive from this is that 1 over lambda equals kt over hcx. So 1 over lambda to the fifth is k to the fifth, t to the fifth, h to the fifth, c to the fifth, times x to the fifth. And this may seem overly complicated, but we're going to be able to use that uh, pretty soon. From our expression for x, we can find the differential of x since we just take the differential of this with respect to lambda. So we get kt over hc times d lambda. And then we can rearrange to solve for the differential of lambda, which is going to be equal to hc over kt dx. Now we can apply all our substitutions. First, we realize that the 8 pi hc can be pulled in front of the integral sign. So that's our 8 pi hc here. We had our substitution for 1 over lambda to the fifth, so that gives us our k to the fifth, t to the fifth, h to the fifth, c to the fifth part. And then in our substitution for d lambda, that's going to be hc over kt times dx, we can pull the hc over kt in front of the integral, and we're left with the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over x to the fifth dx over e to the 1 over x minus 1. I did not show changing the limits of integration, but if we integrate from lambda equals 0 to lambda equals infinity, we would be integrating from x equals 0 to x is infinity. So it looks like the um, limits of integration are exactly the same. The important part is that we get this integral, which is a well-defined and well-known integral. Canceling the various terms on the left-hand side of the integral, we get 8 pi k to the fourth, t to the fourth, over h to the third, c to the third, and then the value of this integral from 0 to infinity is pi to the fourth over 15. Multiplying collecting terms, we get that the emissivity is now 8 pi to the fifth, k to the fourth, t to the fourth, divided by 15 times h cubed times c cubed. Recall that a standard way of writing the Stefan Boltzmann law is as a times t to the fourth power. So we set these two expressions equal, and we can solve, quite simply, for this constant a. Solving, we get that this constant a is equal to 8 pi to the fifth k to the fourth divided by 15 h cubed times c cubed. This constant a is sometimes written as 4 sigma divided by c, where this sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann constant. So, using this relationship, we can solve for sigma. Solving, we get that sigma is equal to 2 pi to the fifth k to the fourth 
divided by 15 times c squared times h cubed. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay safe and healthy, and as always, have a good one.